Welcome to how to create a custom branded audition, on-site live audition. So from your dashboard, you want to go ahead and go to create new audition. This audition form is the form you use to create an online audition or a live audition, either one. We already went through this form in a how to create a virtual or a how to create a Verdition online audition. So if you want to go through this whole thing, you could just go ahead and view how to create a Verdition online audition. But what I want to do is I want to jump to the live features that we created for creating and conducting live on-site auditions. So I'll jump to a form that's already completed to kind of, you know, recap on how you can use this platform in a live audition scenario. So now I just want to go over some of these features that are specifically for live on-site auditions. So in a live audition, when you have people coming to your location, you could add audition numbers. So if you want to add audition numbers to your audition, you could do that. And you would do that by clicking on yes. And then it will ask you whether you want to add, enter your own numbers or you want to have the system create its own audition numbers. So for example, if you want to create your own numbers or you want to enter your own numbers, when people show up to your audition, you probably have some type of card with numbers on it. So let's say, you know, our talent comes in. You gave them a card that had a number of one, two, three, four. So you gave them that card. When you look up their name in their verdition system, under your audition, their name line, they will have a, a space for you to enter that audition number. And so that's how you would enter your own audition number for their audition. That way, when they go into your event and they're auditioning in front of a judge, that judge also will have access to the audition on Verdition, all the information. They can look up that talent by name and see that audition number that you gave them when they first registered or came in through the door. It's the same number they have while they are on the stage so that there is no mix up. That is how you would enter your own numbers now. If you want the system to create its own numbers, then you would just say, okay, because then you know you could have index cards or something or blank cards at the location. And let's say you wanted to start the sequence numbers at a thousand. Well, then the system was, you know, every contestant that enters or registers uh, through your online uh, audition, they would then be assigned that number. And then when they get there, all you need to do is to write that number down on the blank card and they could pin it on themselves. And then the judge 
when they look up their number, they know that that talent is the one who is registered. And, you know, everything kind of checks out. So now, upload an image, right? Another feature. So typically, every talent that participates in your audition is going to have their own portfolio that you have access to. And they will have a profile picture, but these are all pictures that they uploaded um, themselves. So this will give you an opportunity to take a picture and upload it yourself to their audition line so that you have an actual image of how they look that day versus them uploading, you know, their own picture, which they do. The same thing with a video. When they're actually performing and you have your judges set up, you can have a camera set up to your computer. And when you look up uh, that kind of, that talent that's auditioning, you could then have that um, judge or maybe not the judge or, you know, someone that is uh, recording each audition record that person's audition. That would then be saved uh, to that uh, talent's um, line. When I say line, it's like, um, you know, their information so that when you look them up, their video will be there present for you to watch at another date. So, you know, maybe when you go back to your office the next day, you would have uh, an actual video that you have that you saw from the audition. So you don't lose... Uh, um, any audition so you don't lose any audition footage from you know from that event so uh, these are important features that you want to add to um, to your audition also uh, I'll go over some more important features of information that you need to learn but I'll show you in a completed form already so let's go over to uh, Edit auditions. We'll go to edit auditions. And I will look at uh, this audition. And I'll open it up. And here, we'll see the form already filled up. So again, the name of the audition you have, um, who is notified of your company or who is going to be managing this audition, so to speak, you could select that person once you do move on because your audition is not online audition. You want to make sure it's selected uh, to open if there is a fee associated with this uh, audition. You want to make sure that you select that, but if not again, Again, I have to say that submission fees is not for everybody. You have to qualify for that. You have to be approved to have them in your account. If you're an agency, a modern agency, a talent agency, a registered agent with the state, you cannot charge for audition. So you will not have access to this. But if your uh, audition or a company that does marching bands uh, and auditions, you know... Um, auditions and in your business model you charge for auditions then we will grant you access to that type of um, you know uh, to charge for auditions um, again uh, you could publish uh, your results at the end of the uh, of the audition on your audition page uh, enter the categories that you know that you're auditioning for uh, any any pay any pay uh, that's going to be uh, 
if there is any pay that's going to be that this talent is going to get uh, for that audition or for the part if they get it if they get any additional compensation you want to put it there and you start and end submission dates your submission dates and uh, start and then now uh, because this is a live audition well first of all you want to make sure you, you got your time zone correct uh, you want to make sure people are getting there on the right time but because this is going to be a live audition on site you want to make sure you click on that on yes mm, audition venue that's yes so here you're going to click on the dates you want uh, people to show up and the times and you can do multiple dates uh, and multiple times and you want to enter the the name of the place uh, the address uh, the state and all that the other information city uh, state zip code and if uh, there is any fees they're going to be uh, associated with that you know when they get there so if there's a ten dollar fee uh, to audition then you got you know that's a space where you want to put that in there so that's important uh, that part of the uh, of the because you know again you're doing a, a live on-site audition uh, casting where you know again it's going to be done uh, if this is going to be done in Florida uh, the city um, and zero fees so that's the casting location uh, production uh, location you want to make sure you put that uh, that they're being casted uh, in Florida that they might ha might have to travel to California to do the uh, production any information about the audition that you want them to uh, uh, to know about before they get there so that they can prepare you want to put uh, you know you want to put that in there uh, you upload you upload your image or you select one of these uh, images uh, audition images that we have there by default but you could upload your own you could also put a URL image if you don't have an actual image you could put the URL of an, of an image uh, for your audition and um, this feature right here is um, you know you could create your audition uh, but let's say you want to keep uh, you don't want people to submit yet you could always turn it off until you're ready for people to start submitting uh, or you know halfway uh, during the submission process uh, you want to catch up and you want to uh, hold off on people submitting you could you know turn it, turn it off but for now we keep it on and remember to save after each after each tab make sure you save your section okay same thing as you do uh, as I go online on this and you're going to create your roles um, or the different parts that people are going to audition for and you could also uh, and you could enter the character name or role name uh, you could unlock you know allow people to submit uh, any category uh, any time category to uh, submit or you want uh, specific um, categories to submit so for example if you are looking for a backup singer uh, but this person wants to participate in this audition uh, uh, is uh, registered as a model and they're not registered as a singer the system will not will never let them uh, enter the audition so it's important depending on uh, how how critical you want you want to be and again if you open it up to everybody uh, you might have people that just you know they really can't sing and they'll audition just to audition right you want so you want to know uh, you know maybe keep it to uh, two categories uh, you could also say okay well for this role I want someone that sings and is a musician okay and maybe that person needs to um, uh, play this instrument right so you could uh, write that uh, in there or you could just look it up here and uh, and if you want this person 
uh, to be a male or a female or any it doesn't matter but uh, you got to you got to keep one thing in mind is that if you select male then females will not be allowed to participate in this audition so you won't get any females to enter because the system will not allow them if you're looking for individuals or groups you could you know make that known and age range what age you're looking for them to be again anybody uh, anybody outside those ranges will not be allowed to participate in your audition You can put additional information here again about the addition, affiliation, union affiliation. This is important because if you're looking for a particular union uh, to, you know, uh, that you want people to participate from, you have to select that union and only people that are registered under that union will be allowed to participate. But if you're not looking for any specific union affiliation, then you can just click none and then that allows people to participate with no problem now if you want to upload uh, a script or a slide you could do that or a breakdown you could upload it uh, and then the talent uh, when they open up that audition they have the option to download uh, th that script and review it and then they have options to um, uh, from their from their audition account to either submit a video they might have already in their profile in their portfolio they could have uh, a song, um, an audio, or they could actually record something from scratch using their um, they recorded their screen, what we call the, the screen test recorder, and that allows them to record themselves reading that script and saving it to their portfolio and then submitting it to your audition. So they have those options once you upload your script so then uh, once that's done uh, you're complete you can then go ahead and add another room or simply just click on done uh, once you did that all your roles are being um, uploaded to your audition and uh, you could create as many arrows as you want so if you created 25 rows you don't have to create 25 uh, uh, individual auditions you can just create one audition with 25 roles save your section and then move on to the next part of your audition again um, I'm branding your audition your submission form okay uh, is important because you might want a specific information from the talent so you might want to create your own custom brand a uh, custom form and we have a video dedicated just creating custom forms because this takes a little while so I want to go ahead and encourage you that you watch uh, our tutorial on creating custom audition form but you could create your um, use the default form which is 
uh, a short form that people fill out when uh, they when they engage your audition detail page they'll enter information like um, email name phone number the role they want to submit uh, and then they can upload a video audio um, to your audition from that point and they can write a small message and submit the information now even though you're having them submit something to you again they're still going to show up to the location that you upload that you posted on your audition but they're pre-registering by sending you this information and now this information is going to be in your system and i'm going to show you uh, when you're managing your auditions and uh, we have a video on managing uh, live auditions and online auditions. So uh, I encourage you to go ahead and watch on how to manage your auditions. So once you create, you know, you select the form you're going to use. In this case, we're going to use the full form. Uh, you go ahead and save and then we have those options that we created before and we talked about before. Uh, and I'm going to skip change default ratings for a minute. But again, we talked about adding audition numbers. So in this case, uh, we don't want to add our own and we, we want to start a sequence at 2000. And I already explained how you could uh, answer those uh, information but um, we're gonna also upload an image and record a video on location so remain those selections we save the selection confirm make sure that everything we have here is correct anything that we need to do we can edit go back and edit confirm and then we could share uh, the audition so once you create this uh, live on-site audition, you could then share it with the prediction network. The way you do that is, let's say you want to share something with everybody um, throughout the United States on prediction, right? Um, you could do that. Uh, but if you wanted to, just wanted to share it with some people uh, and say, uh, Georgia, you could do that as well and then everybody that's registered under the well, state of Georgia will get that uh, audition or if you want to narrow it down even further you could say um, Atlanta uh, you could um, you could go ahead and just do the state of Atlanta I mean do the city of Atlanta or if you want to just go even further down uh, you know you could uh, by my zip code if you wanted to but uh, that's how you would send like a mass invitation to people in the Verdition network now let's say you just wanted to um, share within your own network so you can share it by you know let's say clicking talent and now selecting all the talent on there and just go ahead and click on share and that would send it to everybody in their um, in your network and they will receive it uh, the talent will receive it in their network calls just like how you get auditions in your network call they get auditions in their network calls so uh, they could go ahead and view it and decide whether they want to participate or not you could also share it on facebook twitter linkedin uh, by clicking on these links um, you could copy and paste uh, this HTML code of your audition on your website so let's say uh, you have your website which most of uh, you do and you want to drive people to your website because that's where they always come to view auditions you could copy all your auditions because each one has its own unique HTML code on your website which will take them to 
to your Verdition Audition custom branded page. This is real cool because you don't have to uh, tell people to come to the audition. You can have them uh, go to your website and they could, you know, then participate from your website and you can manage everything on the audition. And we have another code, which is uh, we call the Facebook code, but you can use it as, uh, you know, for any social media to promote uh, your audition. So once you have done that, then you could go ahead and view your audition on your live audition. And all the information will be here. Uh, for people to review. So, thank you so much for watching this part of the of our tutorial. And now we will just ask you to view the tutorial on how to manage your audition. Thank you. Have a good day.